All right, guys, we're here with Scott with the Garrison 7. Yeah, How are you doing, sir? You right? Yeah, I'm awesome. How are you? Do, do, do you mind telling Australia what the Garrison 7 is? Well, Garrison 7 is an action-packed sci-fi military adventure. Um, it parallels today's society, what's happening in today's society. It's set in the not-too-distant future, and each character has their own story. So it's not just about Tom Garrison. Uh, every, every, every character that you see behind us, they all have their own unique story. And one of the things that I wanted to do was, myself, I'm ex-military and so are some of the other characters in here. And um, one of the big things was when a lot of my friends leave the military, uh, they're a bit lost as to what they wanted to do. And, I, and Supernova's given us such a good venue here to be able to promote what we're doing. I wanted to involve the military side with it as well. So in the production, some of the soldier roles were actually employing uh, real soldiers, past and present. Some are special forces, everyone from like, I've had resumes from Navy SEALs, Special Air Service, Mossad, like as some an amazing array of people that, yeah, really amazing. As well as, as well as our own soldiers as well. In fact, a few months ago, a friend that I had not seen in years, um, I caught up with at Supernova. And um, yeah, it's really good. And now he's actually working on the production. So one of the big things is um, I want to give back to the veterans um, and, and also raise awareness about it with, with what we're doing as well. Um, so, you know, that's one of the key themes in the story, as well as obviously, you know, there's a lot of issues of today that I wanted to address. So. The concept itself, is it a movie, is it a web series, is it a TV show? Or? Well, originally it started out as a short. Um, a few years ago I got sick and uh, I actually had really bad mould poisoning. Um, I was a singer as well and I got really sick and almost died. I had to go in for an operation and then I, all my life I've relied on uh, my physical aspects as a stuntman and all those uh, side of things and for the first time in my life I actually couldn't do any of that stuff. So I, I started concentrating on writing more um, and this was born. It's, you know, there's some, some of the characters inspired by friends I served with in the army um, and, and it, I, it kind of just grew from there. We shot this short that just was so well received, the, the first look at it, and then we kind of decided, well, it expand, it, it was like a natural progression, it expanded, and it went from a short to a film, to now it's a seven episode first season. We've got a movie pilot that we're releasing with it. Um, we're using practical effects, as you can see by the vehicles and things like this. Um, and we're in developing the game and apps as well. And the really cool thing is when we're actually filming, some of the, the way we've designed uh, the helmets and a lot of the equipment, um, some of the footage from the movie will eventually, you'll see it in the game. So it's gonna kind of take you blend movies and games together. Hopefully there's a few Easter eggs in the movie that you'll actually have to see the movie or the series to figure a few things out down the game. So we're kind of doing a bit of a crossover thing that's quite different and unique. So it's good to get like so all of to get the audience into as many formats as you can of oh, the Garrison Seven. Yeah, it 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 was just like a natural progression. The way digital media has changed today, it's um, the the great thing about it. It makes it possible because our production is 100% independent. So we have no backing from Screen Australia, Screen Queensland, or any of those. Um, everything that you see is uh, myself and my team, we all put in and we've been doing it. And the good thing about it is it's come up pretty good. And it's, and it's getting bigger and badder each time. And Supernova has been very instrumental in promoting us, which has been great, and giving us a venue to promote Garrison 7, as well as, you know, they do it for other um, up-and-coming projects as well, which is, you know, I, I think is is very unique in the industry. And, and not only that, it, it shows their commitment and support to our veterans theme as well, which is, you know, which is something um, very dear to my heart and 
people that I'm working with with the project. So yeah, it's, it's also great that you're you're taking those who have served and who no longer now who find anything that they can do. Yeah, and it yeah. gives them something like, a, like not like a hobby, but just something that they obviously, given the nature of the work itself, they're in tuned with anyway. Yeah, and the thing is too, one, the, one of the reasons behind that too is. Um, when guys leave the army, some of them may not continue in film, but like Thorpey, the guy who I caught up with, Paul Thorpe, he actually said to me, I got a text from him a couple of days ago, and he said, man, thank you so much for, help, you know, for letting us help on the vehicle and, and working on it. It made me forget about my problems. And I just thought, you know what, that's pretty cool. That itself, is 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 pretty cool. So this is almost like a, a therapeutic process. Oh, totally what you're providing. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's yeah. very good. That's yeah. good. Uh, so any any other sort of release dates for the future at all? Okay, so we're we're looking at launching late 2017. Uh, we want to launch through Supernova. It's never been done before where a film has actually been or a series has actually been launched through an, through a venue like this, which is fantastic and. And I also believe that, you know what, <clears throat> Supernova and all the fans have given to us, well, you know what, we want to give back. So one of the really cool things we've just released today, which they'll be able to register online, um, we released a cosplay star search, where what we want to do is involve the uh, Supernova fans, as well as cosplayers around the world, in the production. So there's some really cool prizes. There's seven featured acting roles where they even get an acting coach to be in the film. Um, where's, uh, I think about 27 featured extra, ro extra roles throughout the film where they may get lines, as well as a whole bunch of extra roles in the different scenes. And so it's really cool because what it does, they're helping us with the production, but at the same time, we're helping them fulfill some of their dreams as well. So it's a win-win all around. And so basically at the moment we've got, it's a $10 registration fee and $1 from every registration goes to our veterans fund, where it actually gets used not in research or things like that. On, on the fund that we put together, basically what's going to happen is that money is going to be used where it's needed. Some guys may need to, you know, financial assistance, putting their kids through school, or um, someone may need an operation or things like that. And when I sat down and talked to the guys about it, they thought, you know, that's a better way, where at least you can see the money going to where it's going to be, do its greater good. And rather, you know, where it's actually needed as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and we're doing that with a film too, so part of proceeds from the film actually goes to the fund as well. So we've got some pretty cool stuff happening. And so it's all locally developed? Everything, yeah. Brilliant, that's yeah. great. That's fantastic. Anyway, Scott, thank you very much. Thank you. And, you know, awesome. Thank you so much. I uh, hope to see you very soon. Excellent. Cheers. Thanks Take care. Cheers. Thanks.